Next, please. What's your application for? What's the largest challenge currently facing the aviation sector? Fuel prices? Emissions? Well, an alternative fuel could offer a solution to both of those. And liquid methane is the solution. No way, I don't think so. But liquid methane offers a 20% CO2 reduction per seat kilometre. And a long-term reduction in airline direct operating costs. And where do you suggest we get this liquid methane from? Well, it can be produced from either natural gas or from sustainable biogas generated from biological waste matter. You want to fuel a plane using poo power? After the biogas has been produced, it can then be cooled and processed to produce liquid methane. That would reduce CO2 emissions by 97%. Liquid methane is stored at cryogenic temperatures. Have you even considered this? It can't be done. Well, it can be, and this is how. We have tested the feasibility of storing liquid methane in a conventional wing box. We lined a portion of the PC9 wing with fibrous silica-based insulation and stored liquid nitrogen at negative 200 degrees Celsius. We measured the boil-off rate inside and level of icing on the wing skin in order to support proof of concept. Has this fuel been used in industry before? Yes, it has. There are about 15 million natural gas vehicles worldwide. In Australia, liquefied natural gas is used in over 200 heavy-duty road transport vehicles for reduced carbon emissions and cost benefits. No one would want that. It can't be used as a drop-in solution. Biofuels require too much land to support the global aviation industry. And the price of biofuels is substantially higher. Why not use synthetic fuels? Sure, if you want an increase in carbon emissions and cost. Alternatively, we can offer you numerous innovative conceptual designs for a liquid methane aircraft. Liquid methane is less dense, so our first concept looks at increasing the size of the wing to store the methane. So the second concept is to store the fuel in underwing pod tanks so that you don't have to increase the size of the wing. So let me get this right. Liquid methane is not only feasible, but economically viable? That's right, it's all in the report.